Psychedelic Furs, Love My Way. Okay, let's play through all the different parts here. Uh, there'll be a little bit of interpolating of, you know, like the xylophone and synth uh, sounds going on there. Um, I'll just play through them all right off the top. After that, I'll go back through, guide you through it if you need some help, some details, a little explanation. Alright, and uh, before we get into the song here, do me a huge favor and help out the channel. Hit that subscription button. Be glad if you did, and I will be glad if you did as well. Alright, let's get into this uh, Love My Way, Psychedelic Furs. Okay, so right off the bat, we can get this uh, xylophone section done. Um, pretty fun to just, you know, switch it over to gu guitar here. And it's just uh, a few notes switched around. Okay, so we'll start here by doing five on the B, and then we just follow it up with the five E, seven E. Okay, do that twice. And then we just cap it off by doing uh, eight B, five, on the E, back to 8B. All right, and we would just repeat that whole thing. Okay, into the verse chords here. Um, I like to play uh, in a higher voicing because um, then I can incorporate incorporate some of the uh, the synth parts a little easier. So we'll play a C. But we'll do this uh, higher bar chord version. Okay, so just bar the eights. And uh, we go 10 on the A, 10 on the D, 9 on the G, 8, B, and E. And, uh, you know, just give it a strum. It's a couple measures long. Okay, get as busy with it as you want. It's your choice. Okay, and then we're just going to drop it down a fret for a B. Okay, so just bar the sevens. We go 9 on the A and D, 8 on the G. Okay, and now, uh, since we're right here, we can do this pretty easy while the chord's, you know, ringing out. We just come down and we hit that 7 on the high E again, and then just bring the pinky over and hit the 10 on the B. Okay, so it kind of changes it into like a, a B7 shape there. But uh, this is, you know, essentially like that little synth line that comes in at the end of it. So if you want to do this, cool. It's a good way to go. If not, then you can just play like the C and the B, however you like. Uh, but I'll show you this way. Okay, it's just the, those couple of synth notes there. All right, so just bring it up to speed for you so you can hear the whole thing. Alright, and with the chorus, uh, I like to, you know, again, try to incorporate some of the synth stuff that's going on with this. Um, so essentially, it's just kind of like a, a C for a couple measures and a D for a couple measures. So if you just wanted to do some bare bones, you know, chords, you would just play a C for a couple measures and a D for a couple measures. And, uh, you know, you could kind of like strum it eighth note style or, you know depending on how, how you want the dynamic of the song, as busy as you want. But I'll show you this uh, other way here where we can like bring the synth lines into it and it makes it a lot cooler sounding. Okay, so initially we'll just start off with the C chord. We can play it this open style. All right. And into the second measure now, we're going to add these 
couple synth notes. All right, so we're just gonna essentially re-emphasize this first on the B here. All right, now we're gonna bring a pinky over, hit three on the B, and this will essentially make you know our C chord uh, C suspended two. So you can hit the full chord with that note. Sounds nice. Uh, but essentially we're just hitting these two synth notes. All right, and that'll lead us into this D chord. Okay, we're hit. That's that synth note is part of this D chord, so that's nice. All right, and now uh, we'll do these D7 shape. All right, so it's just open D, two on the G, do the one on the B, and two on the uh, high E here. All right, and that'll incorporate that synth note with it, and it's essentially a D7 chord. Okay, and it's kind of a descending little scale here. Uh, so now we just lift up that first on the B, so it's an open. We keep that two on the E, two on the G, and the open D. This will make it a D6 chord, uh, and it'll also give us that synth note that we want. Okay. All right, and then it'll bring us back to our C chord. And uh, just by playing these, you know, C, uh, C suspended two, D, D7, D6, um, we get to bring in all those synth notes with the, uh, the whole progression. Okay, so let's uh, do it up to speed here, let you hear it all. Alright, we get this first uh, synth interlude section. I guess you call it like a synth solo. Um, but it's just this little scale, plays through it a few times. And with this, I like to put on like a, a vibrato effect. Uh, so if you have one of those, it's cool. Um, it makes it sound closer to that synth. Alright, if not, then uh, it, we'll just play through it clean and then I'll show you uh, what the effect. Okay, so uh, we'll be here at 3 on the high E. Hold that for a measure. Okay, we go two, open on the high E. Okay, four on the B. Finish that third measure with a two to four on the B. Start the next measure with a open high E. And then finish the last measure with two on the high E. Okay, so slowly it's... And like I said, if, if you have like a, a vibrato effect, uh, it makes it sound really cool, um, a lot closer to the uh, actual synth. All right, and there's a synth interlude uh, that comes towards the end of it. Um, it's kind of playing around with uh, what the, the chorus vocal usually does. Um, just kind of in that similar scale. Um, so we can play it up here. We'll be, and this is of course going on over like the chorus progression. Um, it's towards the end, the outro there. Uh, we'll be here at eight on the B. All right, do that for a measure. Okay, seven E to 10 E. All right, third measure starts with 10 on the B. And then we just bring it back down by going 8 on the E to 7 E. And then we just start the whole thing over again. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.